be. I've got the violin here. I hold it in my left hand. I'm going to need a stick microphone in front of us there. And I've got a program called Audacity running on the computer. I'm starting that to run here, as you can see. Now I hold in my right with my left hand. I'm going to hold the strings so that the fingers stop the strings vibrating. My thumb's at the back then. And the microphone must now be in the center of the back, as close as you can get it without touching. And then you tap the middle of the back with your knuckle, like that, maybe 10 or 20 times. Doesn't really matter how many. And when you've done that, you stop the recording, and press the space bar to do that, and then I'm going to process the data on Audacity. Now I'm going to top and tail the recording that I've got on, uh, on uh, Audacity. So I'm going to top and tail it, which here means deleting the beginning. So I select the waveform to the left. And having selected all of that, there's a lot of it here, I press the delete button. And now I've just got the waveform that I want left. And then do the same, select the waveform at the tail end and I press the delete button, delete that. I put the cursor in the middle and do control A, which selects all of that waveform. And now I'm going to go to analyze at the top, the top left hand side of the screen and I select plot spectrum. And up comes my spectrum for that highlighted section of the recorded waveform. If I go from the left to the right, on the left I've got uh, as it always in the UK, I've got a 50 hertz hum because I'm using a microphone and a desktop computer. And then I've got a number of peaks around from about 250 hertz up to 350, 400. Then there's a dip around 600 and then some more peaks around 600 to 750. The area that I'm looking for for the B1- minus is the area from 410 hertz up to 460 hertz. So we'll take a look at those. I've got a peak here and the audacity is very useful in that on the bottom light left hand side of the screen the peak is automatically selected for the, near, for the nearest peak to where the cursor is resting. So I've got a peak there that's reading 397 hertz. To the left of it is a smaller peak reading 368 and to the right of that is reading 427 hertz. So the cursor jumps to 427 hertz, that's G4, G sharp 4, at minus 31.4 dB, and that is a pronounced peak. And then there's a very small peak to the right of that at 459. So the peak that I'm looking for here, the B1 minus, in the range of 410 to 460, I've got one at 427 for this, for this violin. Okay. So here is a screen capture of the waveform on Audacity on the recording showing the peaks where the back was tapped. So the peaks are there. Secondly, here's the spectrum or the FFT of the computer analysis of those peaks showing where the resonances are. Thirdly, on the right were the peaks where we're interested around the 450 hertz. That's on the right of this screen, this cap screen capture. And you can see here a peak, that's the highest peak, at 427 hertz. So that's the B1 minus for this uh, Anne Hay violin. So good luck to you uh, in uh, finding B1 on your own violins. Okay, bye.